everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today we're going to take a look at the 2021 Tab 400. Now this is the solo layout and it also has the boondock package. It's 18 feet long, weighs around 3,000 pounds depending on the options, and it's going to cost a little over 30,000. Of course, depending on the dealership and the options. So this one has the boondock package on it, which is their off-road package. So we're gonna have lots of things to talk about. Let's go inside and get started. Okay, walking in this 400, it feels very much like the standard 400 that we all know and love. The dinette is identical. So it has this wonderful uh, formed table. The seating here is so easy to get in and out of. I love the way the base of the seat has a curve on it and the top of the table has a curve. Easy to slide in on this side or on that side. The bench is a little bigger over there, but you've got this large dual pane window here and the portals on both sides. I love the storage up here with the recessed lighting. And then you have another light right under here that does a really nice job lighting up the table if you're working here. Now, let's look underneath the table and right here, under this bench I'm sitting on is the LP detector and the carbon monoxide detector. So on the other side, you've got the venting for the Cool Cat air conditioner. Now there's a 10,000 BTU air conditioner under that seat right there. It also ha is a heat pump, so you've got electric heat um, and it comes through the ducting. Underneath, there is gonna be two different plates. One has 12 volt plus two USBs the other one is going to have two 110 plugs and two additional USBs. So a lot of gear could be charged or run sitting on this table with the plugins right there by the dinette. Now this is the cafe color, but there is different colors available in the backing fabric. So be sure to take a look at that if you're interested in some brighter colors. They are available in this unit. Okay, well, this window, it's a good time to explain the dual pane windows. It is an acrylic window, and to open it, all you do is unlatch it. That one's unlatched right here, and give it a push. Now it's gonna open up. You tighten this right here to hold the window open. You've got a, a, a knob on both sides, and you've got a nice open seating area. Love these windows. Screen pulls down from the top if you would like to use the screen or, of course, privacy panel from the bottom. All right, that makes this a great place to sit if the weather is beautiful out there and you just want to take a look at the scenery when you're camping. Let's take a look on the other side. There is some storage by that portal window. Now on the driver's side of the trailer, you do have a little space between the portal window and the wall. So this is about six inches. It does have a floor on it that drops down to about here. Two shelves on that side. And on the other side, you can actually see through a panel to see how much glycol is in your system for your Aldi. I love that, very convenient. Uh, you can also remove the panel and access that glycol tank. Great feature that they've done in these new trailers. Now the storage up here by the dinette of course, you've got the shelf above. Speakers are actually on both sides of this little uh, shelf you've got at the top. There is no storage underneath the seat where I am right now because that is the Cool Cat air conditioner. But on the other side, you do have storage under that bench. Now this area does turn into another sleeping area uh, by dropping the table down, of course, to the seating level and then you have an additional cushion that fits right in here to make an additional sleeping area. It is a little shorter than six feet across. 
and would work great for a kid or maybe an adult that wants to curl up. Now the molded interior on all of the new camp doors, I love the storage that's on that. So you've got some compartments up here. There is a long narrow piece of glass where you can actually see if someone's at your door, what's happening out there. And it does have a little panel that comes up for privacy. Uh, it's got a, a, a flat paneled handle with a very easy latch to put on the deadbolt here. And underneath, there is just a like a trash can. You could use it for plastic bags. You could use it for uh, any type of camping gear that you just want to store right there at the door so it's easy access. And the fire extinguisher stays out of the way on the other side of the bottom of the door. Love that. On the edge of this kitchen, up here, you've got the controls for your Aldi. Now it is a touch screen. The Aldi system is going to control your hot water and it's going to also be the radiant heat for the trailer. That's right up here, very easy to use. And right below that is the Dometic control for the Cool Cat, which is the 10,000 BTU air conditioner with the heat pump on it. So all the controls at the door, your lighting, of course, next to that, water pump, and above it at the top is the monitor panels that will tell you how much uh, your battery is charged. It will also tell you how much is in your fresh gray and black tank. Now in this unit, you've got a 30 gallon fresh tank, 18 gallon black tank, and a 12 gallon gray tank. So you can actually gauge where those levels are right there on your monitor panel. The contour in the kitchen cabinets is identical to what they've done in the past. However, they have changed the way these cabinet doors right here on this rounded corner work. So uh, they have these wonderful flush latches on them. So when you push it in, it's locked and flush. If you have it popped out like that, you have not only a handle, but it actually unlocks the cabinet. Just push it, it pops up, and you open the cabinet. Now these two, like I said, are now working independently instead of opening one and then opening the other. Great storage under there, easily accessible. Let's get these closed up and let's take a look at the rest of the kitchen. So the cabinetry up here has the recessed lighting on the top and right underneath here. So nothing's in your eyes because these cabinets are a little bit of eye level. Yes, I'm five foot tall, but it's still eye level for me. Uh, pop it open. You've got great space in here. And let's open the one next to it. It's actually the same thing. There are no shelves in here. It's a nice open space all the way through here. And you've got the low profile flush lighting right here. So the countertop is well lit. That's always important in a kitchen. Now, there is a 110 plug right here on the left, the Jensen TV right here, which swivels out uh, on the right, and a really large window. So you get to see what's going on outside if you're cooking here. They have added the glass top appliances. So this is glass top sink, the nice size Dometic sink with the fold up faucet. And in this side, two burner stove, and it does have the sparker. So you don't have to carry a lighter to light this stove right here. And of course, when these are closed, it can act as countertop for sure. Uh, you would have just a lot of space to do any kind of prep work or just use it for a straight countertop. So the storage here with the two drawers, you know, they're a really nice size and they actually have a plastic tray in the top of this one right here. Um, but you do have space underneath it. So you've got space under it, the plastic tray that sits on top, and then a long narrow space to the left of it. Now this drawer is probably four inches deep or more, so you've got plenty of depth in here. An additional drawer that's just slightly deeper right underneath. I just, I love drawers, they make it so easy. There is an additional drawer at the very bottom of this cabinet and another open cabinet here. Now this one has one shelf in it, so it's not quite as tall of a space, but certainly with two shelves, you get to fit a lot of things in there. 
at the very bottom here, you'll notice the converter, and this is going to have the breakers and fuses, and of course it's going to uh, keep that battery charged. The Jensen TV on this wall latches into place for travel, but it is so easy to pull out. It's got a little bar at the top, just give it a little push. It swivels out and can turn towards the sleeping area or towards the dinette. Now there is a downside here. You're probably not going to want to be cooking while you have your DV pulled out, but you know, one or the other. It probably would work just fine if it was against the wall while you're cooking. The stereo up here at the top is going to have Bluetooth, HDMI, AM, FM, everything you would expect. And the speaker is right here underneath the cabinet and on the other side underneath the cabinet. Two speakers here and then of course the two in the cubbies in the dinette. All controlled from right here. Now this refrigerator, it's going to cool in about two hours. They're very efficient. A lot of people don't like the 12 volt refrigerators because they run your battery down. But this guy is much more efficient than the 12 volt ones that you're used to. And of course when you're plugged in, that's going to be feeding your battery. So there's nothing to worry about then. But it is great for boondocking. And I love that it has a small freezer in it, lots of drawers, three shelves. It, it offers an awful lot of space for people who want a small trailer, but a lot of refrigerator that's really efficient. All right, let's take a look at the bed area. Now the storage is always the first question we get from people, so we're going to go through that first. Over here behind the refrigerator, there is a nice space that's got a hook for hanging clothes, hanging a backpack, uh, and a double shelf here uh, that can be used any way you need it to. It could be clothes, could be gear, whatever you need. And in the cubby underneath, you have a button that's actually going to turn on the inverter in this. And I'll talk about that in just a second. And below that is going to be the 110 plug with two USBs. So again, great space if you have phones to charge, computers to charge, or if you just needed it for storage for clothes or gear. There is not any storage underneath the seating here or underneath the bed. Let's talk about what is under there. Underneath here, you're going to have two AGM batteries. They're six volt batteries, so you've got lots of power. Now the AGMs aren't going to need you to check them, add water. They are no maintenance batteries with a good long life. Next to that, you are going to have a 1200 watt inverter. That inverter is going to take that battery power if you're boondocking and turn it into 110 power. So if you push the button right here to my right in that cubby, that 110 plug is going to work for you. Great feature to have. That is standard on these trailers. Now because this is the boondock package, it has a 150 watt solar panel that comes with that boondock package. Now that's what you're going to want if you want to be off the grid. That solar panel is going to charge those AGM batteries, and then the 1200 watt inverter is going to give you the 110 power you need in here. All right, underneath this bed is where the Aldi system is. The Aldi is going to be the hot water and the furnace, so that's going to be in this side under the bed. Unfortunately, there isn't storage either place. You're also going to have the flow system. Now that's going to give you on-demand hot water. The Aldi system has about a two and a half gallon tank. It heats water beautifully, but with that flow system, it does a preheating process before it goes into the Aldi so that that hot water is on-demand and continuous. Now the standard sleeping over here is 34 inches wide and it's 76 inches long. So six foot four, comfortably, right? You can pull out this panel right here, slide it open, and add a cushion right here. So you've got the same 76 inches in length and 56 inches in width. Now a queen mattress is going to be 60 by 80, so you're losing about four inches each way, but still a nice space that's comfortable for a lot of couples. All right, uh, Let's talk about the stargazer window behind me. I love this. 
just open it like the other windows and give it a push. Tighten down the latch. And what a great cross breeze you could get from the front to the back of the trailer. Of course, it's going to have the pull down screen and the privacy panel here. Uh, I'm a big fan of pulling up the privacy panel about three quarters of the way. And of course, the screen on the top piece, get a little airflow. You do have the fantastic fan right in the middle of the trailer that can create that breeze at night. Great feeling in here when you're actually camping and out in the wilderness. Right over here on the far side of this bed, one more storage cabinet opens right up. It's got uh, about, I would say, 10 or 12 inches deep uh, and contours along with the ceiling there. The recessed lighting on this side as well. It's great in the evening and a little cubby right here. The only storage I haven't talked about is there is a space underneath the refrigerator right here that actually is the full depth of the refrigerator. So it would be great for uh, trays, plates, uh, things like that. It's only about three inches tall, but it is the full width and the full depth of the refrigerator. Now this sleeping area is obviously made for a solo traveler, but it certainly could be expanded uh, to fit two people in this space uh, if that was needed. Um, but the entire trailer is so comfortable. Let's look at what they've done in the bathroom. Now the 400 is a wet bath, which means the toilet and shower are in the same compartment, but it's quite spacious for a trailer this size. They have a mirror on the door and as you walk in, the sink is actually folded up against the wall. Gives you a lot more walking space that way. Now there's two built-in storage spots on that back wall and a 110 plug on the inside. So it's protected from water, but it gives you a place to plug in maybe, I don't know, an appliance, a small hair dryer, anything like that you might be using in the bathroom. Okay, let's see. On the front wall, they have a pole that can be adjusted up and down to the height that you need for the shower head. I'm five foot tall, so you're probably looking at a little over six feet for the height here. Uh, that single handle faucet, so very modern, very convenient. Let's fold down this sink. Folds down, now it's not very deep. It's only one to two inches. Gets a little deeper towards the back with a fold down faucet. But it certainly gives you a sink to work with in here and it'll get the job done. And when you don't need the sink, it's out of your way. Now remember, this has the flow system, so it's gonna give you continuous hot water. Gotta love that. In the back, you've got hooks over here Hang those towels when you're done, maybe any damp clothes to dry. Uh, the toilet is actually in the corner with a covered toilet paper holder. You do have a portal window here, right, by uh, that corner, but of course it has a privacy shade. Now there is all the way around a um, shower curtain that's gonna protect the walls and protect the storage over here for when you're showering. Very easy to just pull around and it has a nice place to store in the corner. All right, I am really impressed with the bathroom because really for having a wet bath in such a small trailer, you know, it is not cramped for space. Now you do have the 12 volt fan on the top. Great for getting the steam out when you're taking a shower. Now that we've actually checked out all the features inside this 400 Solo, Let's go outside and see what we find. You know, this trailer is as good looking on the outside as it is on the inside. The boondock package has this nice padded handle. It has boondock engraved on the base plate of it. There's a light right here on the step. Stays on so you can actually see the entrance coming in and out. Uh, 110 plugs right here. Now the boondock package obviously is gonna have the off-road tires. Nice feature, gives you a little more ground clearance and those off-road tires for rough terrain. Let's take a look 
right here. This is an interesting door. They're using this on the exterior. It is an ABS molded door with a latch that's very easy to undo, not those little thumb latches. But as you open this up, you will see in here, you've got storage, a light with the switch on it. So you can just reach in and turn it on. That in there, you'll see the crank handle and the cover for the uh, fantastic vent on the inside. Now in the back of this compartment is the battery cutoff switch. Makes easy access to reach in there, disconnect your battery when you're putting your trailer in storage. Now of course, because this is the boondock light, you've got the extra graphics right here on the back corner. The handles on the 2021 have been upgraded to this nice heavy duty molded handle makes it so easy to move this trailer around if you need to. You know, they're so light, you can do that. LED lighting on the back. The look of this and the molded rear end, I just think it's such a slick, modern look. Above this window, you'll be able to see the 150 watt solar panel. That is standard on the boondock package. So you've got the 150 watt solar panel, an inverter, two six volt AGM batteries, great power for this trailer. On the driver's side, the vent for the Aldi system, remember that is gonna be your hot water and your heat, right here and next to it, what looks like another compartment door. This is actually your Nautilus water system. So the first thing you'll see at the bottom is going to be hot and cold faucets and a place where you can attach a sprayer or you can have a handheld right here that can be attached as well. And of course it has different uh, settings in case you want mist or a shower or a jet, whatever you need. Now on the left is where you would hook up the city water. Like if you wanted to hook up to the hydrant, run water straight to the faucet, there is a hatch on the bottom and it would actually come up through there and you would hook your water hose right here on the left. Now the levers here are going to be for if you wanted to fill your tank, not fill your tank. Um, if you were winterizing, you would use that. Uh, and it's got instructions right on the front. On the right, you have uh, a black tank flush. So you hook up on the right side, that's gonna flush out that black tank and keep it nice and clean. Very simple right there. On the right side, you have your water pump switch makes it really easy to winterize this. And then on the left, satellite and cable hookups. The light in here has a switch right there on the left, so you can turn it on and off when you open that cabinet. I love the way everything is right there in the compartment, easy to access. Close that up, latch it down. It's got two latches, one on each side. The shore power hooks up right next to it. 30 amp plug right here, and over here, your dump valves. This is your connection for the sewer. Again, you've got an 18 gallon gray tank and a 12 gallon black tank. Uh, of course, you've got a black handle and a gray handle. They do empty in the same location, so no need to switch hoses or anything. Four stabilizer jacks. The Cool Cat air conditioner underneath the front seat is vented right here on this side. And around the front, we have molded handles again. Love the way they have upgraded this and actually made it almost disappear, but make it really functional. All right, the aluminum tray across the front is the same as you've seen in the past. Great for storage, putting things on here and strapping it down, whatever you need to carry. But they've also created more inside storage. Uh, this aluminum tub is a little different than the one you've seen in the past. It's wider and it's got a little more depth and height to it. So you have storage in here plus the propane tank on the left. Now remember your batteries don't need to be in here because you have two AGM batteries in the back under the bed. Great storage in here for some outside gear. It's got the gas prop on it so it stays open, no need to hold it. And then when you're ready, you just pull it down and latch it right there. All right. So I think I've showed you an awful lot of features on here, but I know I've missed something. 
So if I have, please let me know. I'm glad to answer all of your questions. We love your comments. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see all our walkthroughs. And I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. I will see you next time.